Youth from recent immigrant families often serve as bridges between their families and the wider community. Not only are they the first to usually become familiar with a new local culture, they often have resources within their reach such as greater command over the English language and new technologies. With the availability of proper information and communication technologies such as mobile phones, search engines and online applications, perhaps Facebook and Twitter, there are now so many opportunities for young individuals to connect to these resources to help their family members out and other youth who are seeking the same initiative. This is where Youth for Health comes in. Youth for Health is a community-based research project that is training new newcomer youth to become health navigators. Youth Health Navigators help their family and friends better find and access quality health services and supports in Canada. The goal of Youth for Health is to create youth leadership networks that help build healthy and supportive environments, especially for those who are new to Canada. What are some of the key things you learned as a result of your participation with Youth for Health? Uh, I learned what mental health is and I learned how to be a health navigator. Well, it meant a lot. It like opened my mind, like what are the issues and around us that we usually don't actually recognize them. Mm -hmm. But when I joined like Youth for Health, I I became like more open-minded and I opened my eyes to the problems. For what I learned in Youth for Health, um, I can apply to my family because their English is not really good. So, and they have some health issues, so I can use like what I learned, like the resources, and tell them to call just such phone numbers to like help them to get the service that they need. I earned a lot of experience. Uh, I met I met a lot of new friends from auto school and. Uh, it helped me uh, not to be shy in front of uh, people while doing the presentation. In order to make this all happen, Youth for Health invited partners from community organizations and programs from all across Ontario to help develop health navigation training programs for youth. Youth for Health invited partners that were experts in important health issues like mental health, food security, and cancer survivorship. And of course, we can't forget to mention our main partners, the nearly 100 youth that were trained in health navigation. Health navigation is a pretty new idea, but through our training we learned that there's basically three steps to it. The first step is called identify. Identify. This step is about getting to know local health issues, resources, and services in the community. Some of the ways we learned about these issues were by taking photos, interviewing social service and healthcare providers so we can do research and make films about it. So the second step is called Sensitize. Sensitize is about understanding and talking to others in order to overcome any fears, insecurities or lack of knowledge about health services or resources. Youth for Health has been practicing the Sensitize step by leading workshops for youth on health navigation, as well as connecting online through platforms like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Flickr, and taking it global. The last step is connect. Connect means using your knowledge of relevant health resources and helping others obtain these services and benefits. This may mean sharing important websites and telephone numbers with people you may or may not know. Some really useful health resources that we've learned throughout the course of our study was the kids' health phone or the health resource 211 Ontario. In addition to learning how to help others in our communities, as part of Youth for Health, we created tools to teach other youth about how to become youth health navigators. An entire toolkit of interactive activities that help teach about youth health navigation are now available on navigatethis.org. On this website, you'll find an online toolkit made by youth for youth that uses online videos, documentaries, and an interactive trivia game to help teach about health issues and health navigation. And do you have any tips for youth health navigators? Um, don't be shy in front of uh, audience. Don't be afraid to talk to any strangers because like, because um, you, you actually you have the confidence and you have the information to tell them and to help them. So it's like, just don't afraid to speak. So, if 
you're looking for better health tools for a better and healthier community, then navigate this. 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 Navigate this.